Chris Dahl here with Sewing for Fun, located in Elgin, Illinois, coming to you from our studio. And I want to talk to you today about a workshop that is coming up for the kids. Um, at our studio, if you're not familiar with our business, we offer sewing classes for adults and children as young as six. We also do events for Girl Scout troops and birthday parties. So if there's anything you want to learn in the sewing world, whether it's general sewing, garment making, pattern works, uh, working with patterns, excuse me, or quilting, home decor, pretty much if it has fabric and thread in it, we'd be happy to have you come in and we'll help you through the project. Anyway, today is about our workshops and last week we worked on that little mermaid tail over there. Kids had a lot of fun with that one. They worked so quickly on it though, which surprised me because I thought it was going to take the full two hours and they knocked it out very fast. So we added an extra applique on the back and now they have a reversible pillow. So the back has a fish, the front has the mermaid tail and they had so much fun, they really loved it. So this week, um, October 6th, 2.30 to 4.30, we're gonna have another workshop for the kids and we're gonna be focusing on what I call an artist roll. But basically what it is, is it's just a little roll up with pockets and you can put whatever you want in those pockets, truthfully. But I'm thinking of markers, crayons, pencils. And with the holidays coming up and some of us who travel to see family and friends, this would keep your child busy in the back seat of the car. All they need to do is bring their coloring book or their drawing pad and they could um, make use of this and keep all their markers and pencils and things organized in the car. So I'm going to be switching my markers right now to the other side so when I pick it up I don't drop them. But here's what it looks like open so you get an idea. So we have pockets on both sides and I pretty much made them about the same size. But you could vary the pocket size. You could also make it you know, narrower with less pockets. Um, you could make the whole piece a little bit wider if you wanted, if you needed to have more space between the pockets so that you could fit more things in there. Um, whatever you want to do, it's, it can be personalized. We have plenty of fabric here in the studio in our scrap bins, so the kids can certainly make it something that they're excited about and personal. So you don't have to use my fabric choices that I chose to make my sample. Another thought for making this could be for a makeup brush uh, holder or if somebody in the house does painting and they want to store their paint brushes in there or even their paints. I don't know. You come up with whatever you want to store in it. That's up to you. I'm just going to show you how to make it. So I'm going to roll it back up so you can see what it looks like rolled up now. And everything is inside and nice and secure. We're going to tie it up. And then you will see the benefit to the artist roll. So everything stays inside, nothing falls out. So it's a nice little travel um, roll. And like I said, if it is, if you do have makeup brushes or things that you want to pack in a suitcase, this would keep everything organized and out of trouble. So maybe even for jewelry. I don't know. Come up with your own ideas. And kids, you can make this for yourself or you can make it for mom or an aunt or a sister as a gift. Either way, you'd have a lot of fun making it. So um, one other thing I'm going to point out on the table there, there's that unicorn pillow. That's another workshop coming up. It's not on the calendar yet, but I do want to point out that is not a beginner project. Sorry. You might have to have a little bit of experience to work on that one because of all the tight curves on it. But if you want to know more about it, leave me a comment under this video and I'll be happy to share the details about when that workshop is coming. But today's video is more about the workshop, which is next weekend. Well, technically it's this weekend, October 6th, 2.30 to 4.30. Well, where do you sign up? Go to sewingforfun.com, click on book now and look for workshops. And we'll see you next Saturday in class. Take care.